Here's a step-by-step -step guide on attaching your Moto hitch lift to your vehicle, attaching your Moto double e-bike carrier to your hitch lift, and attaching your e-bikes to your carrier. The only tools you'll need are an 18 volt drill and a 3 8 drive ratchet with a 9 16 and a 3 4 socket. Insert the hitch lift into the hitch. Then, insert your hitch pin and lock it on the other side. Make sure that there isn't any movement. We recommend adding a stabilizer to your hitch. Make sure the hitch lift is at least 10 inches off the ground. Depending on the Moto lift you get, you can adjust the receiver for hitch heights of 10 inches to 21 inches by moving the two bolts on the receiver up or down. Next, attach the e-bike base frame to the hitch receiver by inserting the 3 8 bolt and tightening the lock nut with the ratchet until there is no movement left to right. This bolt acts as a stabilizer. Slide the lock pin over the receiver and swing the hook around to attach it to itself. Then, you'll attach the first of the bike support arms. Insert the lock pin and snap the wire over the end of the pin on the opposite side. Repeat this process for the other bike support arm. Next, use the 18 volt drill to lower the bike carrier to the ground. Be careful not to drop lower than the black line on the inner channel of the lift. If you have the motorized lift, Simply plug the two pin connector to your hitch wiring harness and turn on your vehicle's lights. Then toggle the motor switch down to lower the carrier to the ground. Okay, now let's move on to the next phase, attaching your bikes to the bike carrier. Make sure the foot pedals are vertical with the inside foot pedal up and the chain facing in towards your vehicle. Then lift the front wheel of your bike onto the front wheel cradle. You may need to line your wheel up to the widest spoke opening so it loads easily into the cradle. Then lift the back wheel onto the opposite front wheel cradle. Next, go back to the front wheel and move it to the back wheel cradle, and then do the same for the back wheel. The wheel cradles can support tires of many sizes, and the e-bike carrier can support up to 200 pounds. Slide the adjustable tire support up to the wheel and wrap the Velcro strap around the wheel, securing it snugly to the cradle. And repeat this process for the back wheel. Now, on to attaching our second bike. Make sure it's facing the opposite direction of the first bike, with the foot pedals vertical and the chain facing out away from your vehicle. From there, you simply repeat the same process as the first bike. Place the wheels in the wheel cradles and use the outside cradles of the adjustable tire support to secure the wheels. Once all four bike wheels are velcroed in, twist the two black knobs clockwise to hold the wheel cradles in place. Once both bikes are secure, use the 18 volt drill to raise the bike carrier. If you have the motorized lift, toggle the motor up to raise the lift. The maximum height you can go is when the two channels are even at the top. Insert the safety pin with one washer into the hole at the bottom of the lift and put on the second washer and lock nut on the other side. Using the ratchet with a 916 socket, tighten the lock nut and once the lock nut touches the washer, tighten it one full turn. Don't over tighten the lock nut on the safety pin. Every time you lower the lift, you'll need to take it out. The safety pin is there in case the drive screw loosens and keeps the two channels tight. And that's it. You're ready to take your bikes anywhere. When you're not using your bike carrier, you can easily remove the two support arms, tilt the lift lower by lowering the lift pin, and placing it through the holes in the middle far right of the lift, as shown. Then you can open the bed of your truck, or the trunk of your SUV, place the support arms in, and readjust the lift. If you have questions, reach out to us at contact at motous.com.